I got these stainless steel bottle openers from this company, Culinary, for free. They wanted me to display them in a project, so that's what I'm about to do. Let's see how it goes. There were many designs on the internet while I was looking at how to build these beer totes. There's one basic style that everybody uses and quite a few variations. So since I had the three colors of bottle openers, I decided I would make three different styles of beer totes. This first one I'm using pallet wood and I'm using very simple shapes and very simple joinery. I will just use butt joints with the help of glue, screws, and nails. I'll use a dowel as the handle. Now I'm doing a light sanding here, just up through 120, because I want that pal those pallet wood marks to show up. And it's pretty straightforward glue up, glue where needed. And I use the screws as the clamps for this. And then I put these side panels on. These are a little bit thinner material than the other pieces were. And so I'm using nails here, just some four penny nails to secure them on along with the glue. And then attaching the beer bottle opener. Make sure to drill a pilot hole there first. And then finally to test it. It's actually a bit of a tight fit here, which is okay in my book. I could probably sand those down a little bit to give it a little bit better fit. But there's the overall finish. The second one I'm using maple and alder from my big box store. The alder has several knots in it, so I'm measuring here to figure out where to cut to get my pieces. I'm using a slightly different design here, a little bit fancier. I'm creating box joints here with my dado set that I just bought. This will allow both of the woods to be displayed at the same time. I really kind of like that look. In hindsight, I would have used a smaller dado stack, probably gone half the width on it, but I think it turned out all right. Maple is very hard, and so it took a long time to cut these holes, and you can see there's some burning. And I didn't like where the hole placement was, so I ended up cutting these, and then gluing a strip of alder in the middle, which actually was a pretty nice look. And then I used a garbage can lid to trace the curve for the handle. 
and then cut out here for the tenon using the table saw and then the band saw. And then I needed to chisel out the mortise. There's actually quite a complicated glue up there. But I like this design because the ends kind of look like beer bottles. And I like that contrasting wood on here. So that's the fancy model. And lastly, I decided to go a completely different route. I had this cigar box lying around and it actually is going to work perfect as you'll see. Six bottles can fit across the box and in my design I needed the lid to be hinged from the other side so that the printing would be upright. So I took care of that and then I had to figure out my spacing for the bottles and then I drilled some holes in the top. In hindsight I would have used a little bit bigger drill bit and gone through both the lid and the box at the same time. And this worked pretty well. It's just that the holes aren't quite as round as I would have liked. I should have taken more care to measure here at this point. And I put this latch in the middle here, but I'm realizing at this point that I can't close it. There's a clasp on there. So I removed it and then put a clasp on each end. And now for the creative part, I put about a 12 degree angle on the bottom of this board and then cut out, as you can see, kind of an L shape and drilled through at the top for a dowel again. And then I glued and screwed the box onto this handle and after finishing it you can see how it sits there. It sits at an angle and you fill it up by opening the lid placing the bottles inside and then I close the lid and latch it and that holds them in place. And that's important for this design because you can see the handle is behind the bottles so to speak and when you lift up on it the bottles actually will tilt forward so you need those latches to be secure. So here are my three designs I hope you got some inspiration to create something like this. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support.